Welcome, welcome my fellow familiars. So today we'll be looking at the blue, red and black uh, Thopter Chunky Yarn deck. It's very similar to the uh, Sacrificial Altar deck that I created. However, instead of sacrificing a bunch of tokens and so forth, we'll be sacrificing Thopters. We're up against level 9 Bohem opponent. Okay. I don't hate this, so let's keep it. We got Punch at Land, what we need for this deck. It's all good. Okay. So I'm going to start off with Sunken Hollow. Most likely follow this up with the Dragon Skull Summit. Going to an island and play out Blood Vulcanizer. Okay, so Perilous Mare. That is absolutely fine. That can be taken care of with Traitor's Instinct. Ooh, Liliana, that's good. So, let's play Dragon Skull Summit here. Okay. Now, this is one thing I'm actually very curious about here, guys. If I do Traitor's Instinct on Perilous Mur and then sacrifice it, do I get to do the 2 damage or does the opponent do it? Very curious to find that out, so we'll see. Okay, Child of the Night, opponent swings for 1. And there's the damage. Okay, so damage has been acquired, of course, let's move on, Jace, I can play Jace, but not going to do that, so let's play out an island, pull a blood Volcanosaur out, next turn I can get Liliana, just to get out more mana, okay, so let's do just that. So next turn I'll use Skyland Cascade and tap down his Child of Night and get Liliana out. We'll follow that up with Sulphur Falls and then do Traitorous Instinct and along with Spawn Splinters. That is going to do some good damage to our opponent here, which will be nice. Twin Bolt. Well, that sucks. Okay then. That's fine. I'll play out Liliana next. So we'll let our opponent swing here. That's good. Okay, now if I use Skyline Cascade, do I want to type down Perilous Mur or Child of Night? Child of Night gives lifelink. Hmm. Okay, Dragon Fodder. Not bad. Okay, well, let's see what we draw into first. There is not Duko Husk. That's not a bad card. But I'm going to do Skyline Cascade. Tap down Child of Night. Play Liliana. Here we go. Next turn we can do Sulphur Falls, Traitor's Instinct with the Bone Splinters. And that will be just wonderful. Okay. So I take it our opponent swings with everything here most likely. Now if I do Traitor's Instinct, do I take care of Perilous Mur? Yeah, I take control of Perilous Mur. And then when I do Bone Splinters on the Perilous Mur, I'll be able to kill Child of Night and additionally do two extra damage to one of the goblins. That's not bad. Let's do just that. Okay. So opponent does not attack with anything, I guess. Okay, he does not. That's fine. Whoa. Okay, let's do Sulphur Falls. Let's do Traitorous Instinct. When we do this, gotta tap it properly so I have... Yeah. Traitorous Instinct on Perilous Mur. Good. Let's continue. Oh crap, my keyboard doesn't work by the way guys, just so you know. I keep on forgetting about it. So attack with all and we will confirm the attack. Opponent does nothing. Okay. 
Yep, I think opponent will do absolutely nothing here. Whoa. Okay. That works out even better for me. So opponent might have Twin Bolt in there. And what he... He's level 9, he's still watching damage effects, holy crap. Choose a creature to destroy. Choose a creature to sacrifice. And I get to do the 2 damage, nice. And Liliana comes out now. So there we are. There is Liliana. Excellent. Now I can do her special, but... Let's do this. I'll sacrifice Looming Spires here. Got enough land as it is, I believe. Next turn, one, two, three, four, five. So I can do Jace, per Jace and Nantuko Haskell in one turn next turn. That will be pretty good. Whoa. Okay. This is so far so good, guys. So far so good. Dragon Skull Summit. An opponent just has two cards in his hand. Let's see, do we want to play anything here? Just a blood focus or not really worth doing the minus X. Okay, opponent is really digging for stuff here now. Curious to see what he finds. Come on, come on. Oh, this is going to be a fun game. Okay, no, has he found what he needed for 3 mana? He might have a Twin Bolt in there, or maybe, maybe another Perilous Mirror or something like that. We'll see, really curious to see what we draw into, that's uh, another good thing there. And the next turn I can do Jace's ability, which would be pretty good too. So Twin Bolt, yep. To the zombie. Oh, wow! Twin ball goes to Liliana. Very interesting play. So, Blood Flock and Assur and Chase. That's not such a bad choice. Blood Flock and Assur and Chase, instead of not to go husk. Okay, and now let's do the whole sacrifice card thing. Let's each player discards a card. That's pretty good. Opponent is forced to discard a card too, and he'll be taking two damage to his face. And then next turn we get Chase out, and that will be just wonderful. Okay, flashback Marauder. Oh, that must have hurt a lot. Okay, we attack with all. Confirm. Here we are. Good. Getting Jace out next turn is gonna be even better. So let's hope our opponent does play some kind of a creature. The bad thing here is we're out of steam. The good thing is we're gonna have two planeswalkers out. Twin Bolt on a Jace. Okay. So. Oh. Ah, uh, see that's the thing guys, I was trying to press the keyboard here, I should have done the stop timer and sacrifice Jace to Blood Flow Connoisseur, I have no idea why my keyboard just stopped working and it really sucks, it has happened as of a uh, latest update from, uh, yep, yeah, it takes, it has happened from the latest update from Magic, so I'm not sure what's going on there, so we take 3 damage, go down to 14, okay, that's not bad. Our opponent's fully out of steam here, so that's even better. Kind of sad that Jace is out of game, but uh, we can still bring Jace back by losing, using Liliana's special, eventually. Okay. And end of the turn. Good. Our opponent could have easily killed this, by the way. I have no idea why he chose not to. Here we are. Here we are, let's do each player discards a card. I'm going to bring Jace back, if our opponent doesn't throw into anything. Ah, jeez, I keep on forgetting the keyboard doesn't work. 
Swing with all, confirm. Excellent. Okay then, opponent's down to 10 health. We have Liliana. I'm going to bring Jace, and our opponent has zero steam of any kind whatsoever. Good. So let's see what the opponent has now. Hmm, interesting. Opponent hasn't played anything. So let's just do this. Maybe I should do one more. Each player discards a card. Once I get to eight, two more turns and our opponent's in trouble. So opponent is forced to discard this. What was it? Bone splinters. Ah, uh, poor guy. Gotta feel bad for him. Okay, continue. Swing with all, confirm. Is that 10 damage? No, that is not. Not yet. That is 7. Our opponent's down to 3 health. And he might as well just leave the game now. Don't think there will be anything else that could save him, probably. Unless that is if opponent draws into... Uh, I don't know, actually. Nothing could save our opponent in this case. There is, of course, Languish. But uh, Languish would just delay the inevitable. Yep, that was just a land, he confirmed that. Let's see what we draw into. We don't really care, but I'll still play it. Do Liliana's. Okay. Player discards a card, just for shits and giggles. And now let's just swing for everything. Here we are, guys. Okay, well, this has been game number one. Our opponent put up a decent fight, but I guess... The deck was pretty good. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching this game. And I'll see you guys in game number two. Okay, come on. I want to see the victory screen. Oh, no. Damage effects for all of those creatures. By the way, if you guys play magic, please turn off damage effects. It's really frustrating. There we are. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode. I mean this game. And I'll see you in game number two. And we're back for game number two. It was kind of difficult to find the game. I think uh, no one does play during uh, work hours. Hmm. Well, let's see what happens. Waiting for players to join the match. Okay, level 20. Holy crap. Okay, let's hope we have a good game here. Uh, okay, switching to the mouse. Uh, not a bad hand. Let's keep it. We got the three mana necessary. There's Perilous Mer, Liliana. We have everything that we need. So, double black mana. We're just lacking one red, but that's okay. I think we'll get there. Um, so, let's start with the Dragon Skull Summit. Go to Swamp with the Perilous Mer. And then probably play Voracious Null. And then Liliana. Okay, and we're up against the control deck, it seems. Whoa, another Dragon Skull Summit. Well, I can play Swamp, play this. So now we can also play P and Karen LR next turn, which is just excellent. Okay. So I can start with the Dragon Skull Summit here. Let's see what the opponent does. Still nothing. Hmm, let's start with this. We got a really good hand here. Now I can do Liliana for the life gain. Which I think, yeah, that's what I'll do. So let's do Liliana here. Uh, let's attack with all and confirm attack. Here we are. By the way, if any of you guys know what happened with magic and why I can't use my keyboard, please let me know. It's a little bit frustrating. My keyboard just doesn't work. Okay, we're up against the mill deck. Well, our opponent's in big trouble. Okay, now. Whoa, looming spires, that is. Okay then, so. We'll play Voracious now. We'll play Looming Spires. 
Could it only Viana? Yep. And we'll swing with everything, thus gaining 3 life. Here we are. So we gain 3 life, our opponent goes down to 15. Excellent. Next turn we'll play an island. Or actually, I might play... Yeah, I'll just play Sunken Hollow next turn. And then I'll play uh, Pia and Kiran LR. Okay, so we're getting milled here. Mm, I don't think there is much of a choice to make. Not sure what the opponent is doing here. Or maybe it's a self mill deck. Just try to get as many cards into the graveyard and then uh, get scary scary Eldrazi out. Uh, let's see. But it is taking a while. Okay, good. So, Voracious Null and what else? Oh no, I was looking forward to Thopter Spy Network, so another mill. Okay then. Our opponent will not have Hydro Lash since I believe it's 2 mana, so we can swing again with everything. So let's play out Drowned Catacombs. Let's play that. Now, let's play... Uh... The thing is I can get Liliana out. Instead of worrying about Pia and Kira Nalar. That makes a tad bit more sense to me. So, we can... Okay, let's do this. So, sacrifice creature. Yes. This is the creature we sacrifice. Ah, wait. First, let's continue. Swing with everything. Confirm. Gain some life, just because that's extra 2 damage that will be going to us. Okay, here we are. Now, we'll do this. we do sacrifice. we do this. I don't care about the mana tapping and we hit opponent in the face for 2 and then Liliana comes out then I play Island and P and Kiran Alar. Okay. Well actually let me see. I don't have 2 or more basic lands. Oh wait I already played the lands. Okay. So each player discards a card. So let's do that. Let's discard an island here. Okay, let's see what the opponent discards. This is pretty good. Okay. Wow, our opponent is really slow. Maybe he reached level 20 simply by stalling so much. Because I can't say it's too fun to play against someone like that. But let's see, let's see. So, okay, I guess a random card gets discarded from an opponent, that's it, let's move on. Here we are, so Sphinx Tutelage, we get double milled again, that is fine. Okay, let's see what we get milled from here. We got milled lands, oh, that's, that's very good. Don't need more lands, so our opponent's going to fetch something from the graveyard, wonder what it will be. Is it going to be Perilous Mer, Voracious Null? Talent of the Telepath from our... Oh, well does he know, we don't really possess much. So, Traitorous Instinct, okay. For a Voracious Null, okay. That is just fine. So, opponent swings for 6 damage, brings us down to 90. Oh, okay. Chum blocking it is then. Here we are, confirm. Okay, nothing wrong with that. We drew into another Traitor's Instinct. Might as well just discard it, highly doubt our opponent will be having anything anyways. So let's do this. Get the Thopters out. Here we are. Let's just, each player discards a card, might as well. Yeah, that's fine. Wow, our opponent really milled us for all of our traitorous instincts. No, that's not too good. But that's fine. Okay, so let's attack with all here. Confirm. Here we go. Okay, 
Next turn opponent is dead no matter what, we still will be double milled. I wonder if opponent does have a Hydro Lash. If he does, then he might survive for just a little bit longer. Necromantic Summons. Wow. And who might he be summoning? That's a little bit silly right there. Okay, we drew into Nantuko Husk. So, we can play Nantuko Husk. Swing with everything. If our opponent so much as dares to block Voracious Null, which he, he'll have to. Let's see. He doesn't have any mana left, so... 5 damage, this will become 6-6. Six, six. Yeah, that's fine. Here we are. Let's just do this first. Here we go. Okay. Opponent sure is taking his sweet time again. Yeah, that actually makes sense then now, guys. Uh, opponent did reach list level 20 by simply stalling. If I weren't recording, I'd leave this game way, way earlier than that. Here we go. So, continue. Attack was all. Confirm. No, 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 no. Actually... Well, why do we care? Let's just attack. Yeah, attack was all and confirm. Our opponent's dead anyways. Doesn't matter how he blocks. That's 4 damage to opponent's face and we win. We are actually, you know what? Uh, oh yeah, I forgot. This is any time you'd cast a sorcery. Okay, let's continue. That's fine. Opponent is dead. Well, that's it guys. This has been game number two. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in game number three. And we're back for the last game of this episode. I gotta say, these three decks. The Life Train, uh, Sacrifice Altar, and Thopter Junkyard. They're... Pretty overpowered, kinda. Okay, so, good matchup. Both of us level 10. So... Ah, jeez. Like, this is such a great, great... Oh, we're just lacking a little bit here. You know what, I'm going to keep this hand, hoping that we draw into the lands that we need. So, let's play out uh, Drowned Catacomb. And let's hope that we draw into the lands we want. Okay. If we do. So next turn I'll do Sulfur Falls. Have to wait one more turn. And then I'll play Dragon Fodder. Wow, our opponent's aggro also. Well, our opponent's aggro, sorry. We are not aggro. We are something completely different. We did not draw into the land. So we still have one more chance to draw into the land. So really, really hope that happens and I didn't make a mistake. Well, let's see. And by the way guys, sorry again for the hectic schedule, release schedule. It's a, uh, as you know, I'm going on a vacation. So I kind of just decided to throw Hitman in there. I know I wasted quite some time. I could have spent it on magic, but still. Just needed to unwind a little bit. Okay, we drew into the lands, which is good. So let's do Drowned Catacombs. And Dragon Folder. Probably follow that up with Bloodflow Connoisseur. And then we'll roll from there. Opponent can of course have Twin Bolt there. And uh, that might me make me regret. Yep. Uh, I shouldn't have played the Dragon Folder. Really shouldn't have. But that's okay. So that just happened. Another Foundry Street Denizen comes out. Okay, so we're playing Nantuko Husk instead of Bloodfall Connoisseur in this case scenario. Two damage to the face, and we're down to 17 health. Wow, this deck isn't like super super aggro, so I think we can survive long enough to get through this. Nice, Foundry of the Consoles. Now, 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 we can do Flame Shadow Conjuring. That makes more sense to me. So we do. It's okay. We'll take some damage next turn. But here's the thing, guys. Um. Okay. I think he's just reading. So next turn I play Bloodflow Connoisseur. As soon as I do so, 
I will do Flame Shadow Conjuring, get another copy of Blood Folk Connoisseur, which will have haste, swing with it. After swinging on my second main phase, I will sacrifice and thus get a Choo Choo Blood Folk Connoisseur. And well, things would work out just fine. There we go. Whoa, whoa, this is getting a little bit dangerous here. I'm still hoping to draw into one more land just so I can do Whirler Rock with the Flame Shadow Conjuring cost. That would be just wonderful because we'll get four Thopters out all at once. So we'll take four damage here, go down to 13. And that's absolutely fine. Here it is. Okay. Okay. So there is. Oh, sorry. Five damage, actually. I forgot that this gives Doctor's Haste. Okay. Okay. Not bad. So, Dragon Skull Summit. So, we play that. It'll come in top. But next turn, this will allow us to do World of Rogue. So, this turn, we can do this. Pay the price. Here we go. Yes. Pay. Continue. Swing. Our opponent will most likely even block, so I don't know why I did, even did this. So I need to stop timer as soon as opponent blocks. And don't forget about it. Come on. The keyboard does. Oh, wow! Okay then. Sacrifice a creature. Choose a creature to sacrifice. Here we go. Okay. So let's continue. This turn we will take four, five, probably six points of damage. Going down to, well, actually I might block, we'll see. But we might take six points of damage here and go down to six. Traitorous instinct. Oh boy. Okay then. At the end of the turn, opponent can sacrifice Bloodfall Connoisseur to itself, I think. I think it's possible. So, Titans, oh, we're dead, guys. Yep, that's 13 points of damage here, I believe, so that's four, that's four. Never mind, that's three. So that's, hey, we live, we live through this, guys. Excellent. So, 11 points of damage to my face. We're down to one point of damage. He might have the burn necessary to kill us, but we don't know that just yet. Let's see what happens. Let's see. Blood Falconesser, yep. Blood Falconesser is gone. That sucks. That really sucks. That Traitor's Instinct was quite something. Now, even if I do Whirler Rogue here, let's see. We'll have enough blockers, so pay the price. Not sure again why opponent passed the game, but... That's fine. Come on. Yes, we pay up. There's the triggers. So now we have all the blockers that we need. Now we just swing with this ruler, okay? Too bad we cannot sacrifice it to Blood Folk and Sir, but unfortunately things have happened to us, so can't do much about it. And let's continue. Now, if our opponent draws into that one point of damage, we're screwed royally. But if he doesn't, I can do none to go husk this turn. Next turn, I can do double traitorous instinct. Wait, can I? One, two, three, four, five. No, if we draw into one more land, I can do double traitorous instinct. And I think that will very well obliterate our opponent. Okay, Foundry Street Denison, that's fine. Here it is, and here it is. Now let's see what the opponent chooses to do here. If he swings, that's an exchange right there. If he swings with this, that's another exchange right there. This, I might just block this and this, and then flop the engineer is all done with. Now re I'm really curious what the opponent has in his hand, but I think that's Oh, he wasn't sandbagging anything. Well, guys, I don't know why opponents stalled for so long. 
But here we are, dead. As dead as it can be. Doesn't matter what blocking we do or whatnot, we're dead dead. Nope. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching these games. Really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, we lost game number three. Anyways, I'll see you guys in other episodes. Thanks for watching and bye!